Watch your engines for a Sony Computer Entertainment Year of production. Hello, people of YouTube. This is The Dimension here, recording a new PGXP video. Video. Your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, I know. This is because I have a crappy internet connection. I had a crappy internet connection. Now I've got a new installation. 60 megabits per second, which should be much faster. My previous connection was 1 megabit. 100 kilobyte at load speed. 2 hours for a 600 megabit 10 minute video is, was too much for me. Now it should be much faster. I'm playing Crash Team Racing again, but the difference is this is the PAL version. And in interesting enough, people say PAL ports of games were very much bad. <laughs> Welcome to the European gamers suffered with their ports, but this is actually a very good port. It runs at 25 frames per second, since the it's half of the power speed, which is 50 Hz, but it's actually very good. It's not slow or anything, it runs at a good enough speed. I mean, it's not slowed down like most power ports were, are actually. Um, compared to the NTSC port, I actually like this port very much. Aside from the squished look, of course, it this is almost a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, but this isn't... Uh, I'm not using widescreen hack. This is just what the games look like on a PAL, would look like on a PAL television. The resolution of the game is actually higher than what the uh, NTSC version is. As some people might know, PAL uses 288p instead of 240p. I'm playing on PCXS, PCSXR PGXP here and uh, I tripled the resolution. So it's three times that, with the power aspect ratio, of course. I'm using Fraps Record, and the resolution I'm using is actually 1152 by 705. <laughs> I know it's a weird resolution, but that's what I set the emulator at to not look granular or well, to everything on screen to look correct. And I pray really bad because I'm not used to speaking while playing the games. I'll shut up for a while and try to do my best to show my real skills on this game. Which are still not very good. <laughs> Yay! My worst time probably. Probably. As you might be hearing, my English is not very good as well. And this is not helped by the fact that my previous headphones that I had with a good microphone is gone. <laughs> I bought a new one, which is really crappy, a Chinese bad manufactured product with a very bad sound on the headphones and the microphone sounds not very good as well, so you would have to bear with it. You win a trophy. Yeah, yeah, Uka Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Is the helper of the baddies in this game. Let's go to the second level and beat that. No, let's go to my favorite level in this game instead. But I think you can't actually. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, let's go to this level. This is a little harder level. I actually never memorized the names of the levels. As I am not a nati native English speaker, when I played this when I was 8 or 9 years old and I didn't know English, I simply played the levels. This was the lava level, and was the metal level. <laughs> which is actually the sewers level, and then on the first level, and then the second level, I just had my own way of naming the levels. 
without needing to destroy English by trying to read the names with a Portuguese accent. Which I will notice my accent is actually very heavy. <laughs> I think one way in my head, but actually when I truly speak English, it's like this. The way you're hearing right now, probably. If anyone is too annoyed by the way I'm speaking, well, just bear with it. Since my internet is faster now, I might just speak a little more. Train my English a little more. It's good for you. To train the language that you learn, because, well, <laughs> what's the point of simply learning to read and write the language if you cannot speak it? I play in windowed mode, by the way. I have a CRT monitor, which uh, <laughs> I'm poor and I cannot buy a proper LCD monitor or a flat monitor, I don't know how should I call it or whatever. Um, but this CRT monitor is very good. If I wanted to, I could actually play this game at 50 Hz at full screen. But I'm not doing that because that gives me headaches very bad headaches actually because I'm not used to the 50 Hz power flickering mainly of CRT monitors. I said this to 1080p through screen, uh, through screen, the desktop resolution is 1080p actually and uh, I play at 60 Hz. I could play at 100 Hz at original 288p but native resolutions don't look so good uh, on PCXR, PGXP. I might do a video on MetaFan later, PSX MetaFan, the original one. Because that emulator is so accurate, input lag almost non-existent, and if you double the refresh rate of the monitor, <laughs> it will just be much better, like playing in the original PlayStation. But the resolution, of course, is native resolution, which some man might not like. There's a whole discussion somewhere on the internet of the... <laughs> yeah, I can't play this level, I have to play the three levels. Main levels first, gain three trophies, then come back to the sewers. Mystery Cave, so that's the name of Lava Lava. But coming back to my original discussion, people discuss a lot how emulators should actually be. Should they be accurate or should it be enhanced? I don't mind any actually. I like emulators to be accurate, but I like enhancements. Enhancements. Here or there. PGXP being the greatest one so far for PlayStation emulators. In my humble opinion. I know there's Retro Arch with its fancy hook and renderer in the old PSX hard uh, and the PSX hardware, which is now officially called Beto PSX. I don't know who the original developer for PSX Manorfan is. Oh, I know it's really, really accurate and. The ritual art guys, well, were really working hard on making the Vulcan renderer pretty good actually. People say it um, evolved a, a lot since the original implementation, and now it's actually very good. Much better than the OpenGL implementation, which they say is really bad. <laughs> With PGXP that hasn't been updated much or at all actually, I don't know how the development of PGXP is there on RetroArch, but it had many more bugs than PCXR PGXP, which PCXR by itself is really buggy. Many games don't run that well and there's this weird internal slowdown on the games. 
the frame rate, internal frame rate stays the same, like 25 for power games and 30 or 60 for NTSC games. But when it comes to internal slowdowns, well, PCSXR is king. Let's just keep the cutscene and go directly to my favorite level and play it if the recording doesn't stop midway because although I have a better internet I still have a crappy 80 giga gigabyte hard drive which with rep loads up really fast. It's been some time since I played this game actually so I might do badly in my favorite level. As veteran players of CTR might know, there's this really hard shortcut, shortcut you get on this level. I think it's probably the hardest. If I don't count an unofficial shortcut, there, uh, there is on pinstripe stage on the final, final world, should I say, of this game. I don't remember the name of that stage as well, but there's, a, there's an, an official shortcut which you get uh, by making really big jump. Oh, I got it. And here's this internal slowdowns with the sound really crappy and well. <laughs> I will have to play like that. Uh, sorry about this noise on the background as well. This is my crappy PC with its three or four coolers at maximum speed. <laughs> My GPU cooler had burned a long time ago. It's broken. Then my brother, which was the previous owner of this PC, had made a chumfu, as we call it in Brazil, or a gambiarra. Oh, I didn't get it. I don't know a proper translation of this word, but it's really a uh, poor man's way of fixing stuff by using glue or tape or whatever <laughs> and he simply glued the cooler to the bottom of the PC right below where the video card stays and that improvised cooler is what killed in the video card and it actually works I could either make a blower style or a sucker style, <laughs> I don't know which what the other way is called but it stays cool. Temperatures here in Brazil are around 22, 23 degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that translates to Fahrenheit. Probably, I don't know, 70, 75 degrees, probably around that much. And uh, yeah, the video car stays cool around 40. Degrees Celsius when idle and around 65 when you know, at low. I don't use very high resolutions, they were around 720p for most games. So it doesn't hit you much. For an 8 year old GPU, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, Ripper Room. You left too much. They said this, this is the same left of A Hyena of the Lion King. They just modified it a little to sound original, I guess. <laughs> I never watched the Lion King in the original voiceovers, the original dubbing, I don't know. Yeah, voiceovers actually. So I don't know how the original voices sound like. I only know this. Dubbing. Portuguese dubbing. Most of it. My gameplay style for this game, as some may notice, or only anyone actually notice, is that I don't use the item boxes. I just gather them and simply throw them in the middle of the <laughs> track, while sometimes actually getting caught by my own traps, which sucks. But I don't care actually, I only care about the gameplay. I've gotten used to the controls, so I use R1 to drift. Power slide? Yes, power slide. That metal one should do that. Turbo boost. And simply go like that. 
without caring much about the other items or the other players' AI, other opponents, actually, the CPU AI. It's really good, right? I wish there was there was a harder mode. Actually, there is a hard mode, if I recall, using cheats. But this hard mode is actually not very hard. It's just plain simple. I've actually never played this game with another person which was really good at it. I mostly played with my nephews and some of my friends, but they all weren't good at, at it. And so I completed the, this stage. Now I shall convert the Fraps video to a higher resolution to bypass YouTube's stupid bitrate policies and have a nice crisp <laughs> I don't know why it's long, but well, whatever actually okay, so I conclude this video right now with my better upload speed internet let's see how it will fare congratulations yeah congratulations yeah, 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 yeah. If you watch this video, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Don't subscribe if you don't want. Comment. I like to answer comments actually. And bye bye.